In this video, we're going to be talking about the geometry topics of surface area and volume. When we're talking about surface area, we're looking at the area of all the surfaces of a figure. For example, if we're talking about a cube, we know a cube has six faces or surfaces, and each of those faces is a square. So when we're looking for the surface area of the cube, we're going to be looking at the area of each side of that cube, which is the square. And the area of a square is side squared or x squared, however you want to look at it. So when we're talking about the total surface area with those six faces, six squares, that's just six times s squared. We also may be asked to look at some prisms or pyramids and other figures as well. So we just want to know what each of those look like and that will help us to determine the surface area. Here's a tip when you're given some particular figure, if you can draw it out or use the figure that they give you and then account for each of the surfaces. So for example, with this square pyramid, it has a square base and we know the area of a square, just like we said previously, is side squared. And then you've got four triangles and the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So when we're looking at the square pyramid, the base of each of these triangles is just the length of a side of the square. And then you would have to be given the height or, and so depending on what you're asked to calculate and what you're given, you can use these figures to help determine this surface area value. So one particular figure that we've seen a lot of surface area questions come up is with a right circular cylinder. And there is a formula to solve for that. It's a good idea to be familiar with it. They don't always give it to you, but again, we can take a look at the figure itself. When we're looking for the surface area of the cylinder, a cylinder is like a can. It's got two end pieces that are circles and then you, you've got some particular height. So when we're looking for that surface area, we want to take each end of that cylinder, the two circles, and to find the area of a circle, it's pi r squared. In our formula, we have surface area equals two pi r squared because we have two ends, the top circle and the bottom circle. And then we add to that this two pi r h. Now, what is that? The two pi r comes from the formula for circumference of a circle. And when you're thinking of that cylinder, that inside portion there, those are just around the, the circle, around a circle, two pi r. And how many of those we have, we have h of those circles going around the height. So that's why the second portion of the surface area, the two pi r, h, we multiply that circumference by h. So given the values of radius and a height, we can find the surface area of a right circular cylinder. Now let's talk a little bit about volume. When we're talking about volume, this is the amount of space within a three-dimensional figure. Volume is 3D versus we have area we were talking about 2D. So with volume, what we're going to need, we've got to consider the length the width and the height of the figure, the three dimensions there. So we have to take into consideration the shape of the figure that we're asked to find the volume. And there's different ways we can look at that. If we're given a prism, when we find the volume, we want to find the area of the base times the length of the prism. Circular figures like cones and cylinders, when we're looking for the volume, we're gonna find the area of the base times the height. So when we're talking about the area of the base in each of these cases, that's our 2D portion times the length or the height, depending on what figure we're looking at. That gives us that 3D volume. Now let's take a look at this ACT type question. Pause the video here, work the problem, and we'll come back together and check it. The question asks, how long in inches are the edges of a square cube if the surface area is 1,350 inches squared? We're in inches, our units look good. So when we're talking about finding the surface area of a square cube, 
we're given that that surface area is 1350. So we're kind of working in a different direction from what we generally think of with a formula solve for. We already know the surface area. We've talked about previously that a cube has six faces that are squares, and we know that the area of one face is side square and with six of those that's going to make the surface area equal to six s squared six times the sides squared so now we're going to solve for side because we're looking at how long are those edges and we're going to divide 1350 by six and that gives us 225 for the square of the sides but we want one side so we'll take the square root and we get a side length of 15 inches, which is answer choice B.